What's going on everybody? Welcome to CS5 Unmasked. Today's video I'm going to be showcasing a mask that was actually a suggestion from one of my subscribers. About a year ago, an individual by the name of Cliff, also known as CM Drunk, kind of mentioned what a mask would look like if it was a cross between the Savini Jason mask and the Roy Burns mask from Friday the 13th Part 5. And I really loved that idea. Now I know it took a while for me to actually make the mask, and I really do like the way that it turned out. Now as you can plainly see, it does have the shape of the Savini mask, but a very definite presence from the Part 5 Roy mask. Now besides the mask being super dingy and extremely weathered, you also have these three massive claw marks across the mask. And of course the excessive damage, the lower left side of the mask. Now initially the entire mask itself was painted white, but I really wanted to emphasize the excessive amount of damage that took place during Jason's battle to show the true mask underneath. And I really think I pulled that off. So I wanted to continue that look with the sides of the mask as well. A bunch of the paint is being slowly removed to show that dark burnt mask underneath. But I also knew that the mask needed just a little bit more. So I decided to add some blood splatter to the side of the mask. It really adds a little something extra to the overall look. When I was creating this mask, I wanted to have just a little bit more personal touch. So I decided to hand paint the chevrons rather than just use a decal. Because I kind of figured that's what Roy would have done. And I really think that it paid off at the end. Now as far as the strap is concerned, I decided just to kind of keep it simple. But in the back, I decided to add a large ring that connects all three straps together. Now the Roy mask doesn't have one of these, and the Savini mask has a D ring in the back. But I think the circular ring still looks pretty cool. So again, I want to thank CM Drunk for suggesting such a great idea. And I want to thank him for allowing me to be creative and let me use my own imagination of what the Savini Roy mask would actually look like. Alright, I'm going to leave a link to CM Drunk's YouTube channel in the description below. Please go check him out. Hands down, this is probably one of the more cooler custom masks I have ever made. And as far as I know, this is the only mask like this in its existence. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed the video because you know what? I love doing really creative and interesting things like this. So if you guys yourself have any mask suggestions you'd like me to try to make, let me know down below. Alright everybody, this is CS5 signing out, and I hope to see you in the next video.